Battle Through the Heavens Chapter 146, Meeting the Little Fairy Doctor Again Chapter 146, Meeting the Little Fairy Doctor Again Xiao Yan, who had been isolated for the past few months, could not help but sigh emotionally as he walked among the crushing crowds in the small town and listened to the racket from his surroundings. Humans were indeed creatures that loved to live as a group. If he had stayed alone in the wilds for decades, would he still be able to speak? Shaking his head with a smile, Xiao Yan threw this ridiculous question out of his head and patted the heavy Xian ruler on his back that had been wrapped with a black cloth. He stood at a junction and scanned his soundings. After musing for a moment, he pulled a passerby and inquired about the location of the Thousand Medicinal House. He then opened his strides and hurried in the direction the passerby indicated. After walking through a few roads, the riotous sound slowly faded and Xiao Yan slowly followed the quiet path down a narrow street. A moment later, a unique small manor appeared in his sight. The security at the entrance to the manor was extremely tight with over ten fully armed guards present. Eyeing those guards, Xiao Yan a Euro trademark S eyebrows pressed together, he did not want to alert the owner of the Thousand Medicinal House. He rotated his gaze before turning around and arriving at the back of the manor. He carefully glanced around and quietly jumped the wall. Xiao Yan snuck into the manor and alertly avoided some of the patrolling guards. After that, he stealthily grabbed a young lady wearing a servant a Euro trademark S uniform. Seeing the young lady a Euro trademark S frightened expression, Xiao Yan lowered his voice and asked, A Euro Ace the fairy doctor here, A Euro. A Euro M, millimeter A Euro with her mouth covered by Xiao Yan, the young lady could only make some vague noises. A Euro A tell me where her is room. Don't A Euro trademark T try anything funny. Otherwise, I A Euro trademark LL strip you naked and throw you out, A Euro the soft threat issued beside her ears frightened the young lady to the point where tears appeared in her eyes. She hurriedly pointed to the path that led to the fairy doctor a Euro trademark S room with her trembling hand. Having received the information on the location, Xiao Yan knocked the young lady unconscious and hid her in a covered place. He then carefully headed in the direction that the girl had indicated. After avoiding a couple more patrols, Xiao Yan successfully arrived at the back of a fairly quiet room. He quietly navigated around it and headed to the front only to find four guards outside the door. The four appeared like guards but from the way they occasionally glanced into the room, it gave Xiao Yan the feeling that they were meant for the person inside than those outside. A Euro -E looks like her day's arena Euro trademark T very good either A Euro A Euro Xiao Yan smiled in his heart as he traced to the back of the room, which was facing a small lake. Carefully standing on the room A Euro trademark S wooden edges, Xiao Yan slowly shifted himself to face an open window. A moment later, his hand was grabbing the window edge as he carefully lifted his body into the room. Xiao Yan quietly landed with his feet on the ground and scanned the room which was uniquely and serenely decorated. His heart let out a sigh as he noticed a faint fragrance scattered about the interior of the room. Sweeping his gaze around, Xiao Yan finally saw a blurry image behind a pink-colored curtain. He stepped forward and pulled open the curtain before gazing into it. Standing on a small platform was a lady wearing a white dress who was bending her head and meticulously mixing some medicinal powder. Occasionally, she would use a crystal rod to dab a little powder and gently sniff at it under her nose. After mixing in some medicinal powder, the lady in white appeared to have become conscious of something. She suddenly lifted her head and swept her gaze toward the smiling face of the young man. The coldness in her face gradually dissipated. She quickly glanced out of the door and waved Xiao Yan over. Xiao Yan walked to the small platform with a smile and sat down with his legs crossed as he said, A Euro E being watched, A Euro. A Euro Osh, don't A Euro trademark T say anything A Euro the fairy doctor shook her finger and abruptly took out a small jade bottle from her pocket. She poured some pale red liquid which she used to swab on Xiao Yan a Euro trademark S hand. A Euro A what are you doing, A Euro seeing the fairy doctor a Euro trademark S action, Xiao Yan could not help but ask in a confused voice. The fragrance in the room is a slow-acting poison. 
It is na euro trademark tea good for you to breath it in a euro the fairy doctor said with a smile, a euro but if you apply some of the antidote that I have created, you would be immune to it a euro. A euro a euro a euro Xiao Yan shook his head in shock as he laughed bitterly, a euro e I did na euro trademark tea think that you would apply poison even in your room a euro. The fairy doctor smiled and parted her black hair. She somewhat helplessly said, A euro e I don't a euro trademark t have a choice. As a weak female, my ability is limited so I can only rely on these unorthodox means a euro. A euro or in what way are you weak? This method of poisoning without anyone discovering eat a euro even I was almost caught by it a euro Xiao Yan shook his head and said, A euro or are those people outside, a euro. A euro I a ha euro being monitored a euro the fairy doctor carelessly said, A euro earth wolf head mercenary company spread the news that I had found some treasure and the owner of this thousand medicinal house is greedily eyeing my share. During this period of time, he had been attempting to take the seven colored poison book but I managed to hold him off. However, he is becoming somewhat impatient a euro. A euro are we did you not leave? With your ability to use poison, there should na euro trademark t be anyone here who is able to stop you a euro Xiao Yan smilingly asked. A euro e I was waiting for you to save me a euro a smile surfaced on her pretty face. Seeing Xiao Yan a euro trademark s helpless face, the fairy doctor grinned. A euro or if I wanted to practice the seven colored poison book, I would naturally require a large amount of medicinal ingredients to experiment with. Is na euro trademark t this the best place? A euro. A euro but I think I should leave today. Today is the last day of the three day deadline that guy has given me a euro the fairy doctor moved the medicinal powder on the table into a small bottle before tilting her head and gazing at Xiao Yan. A euro I you have once again exceeded my expectations. Unexpectedly, you not only survived staying in the inner regions of the magic beast mountain range but your strength has grown significantly. Looks like choosing to be your ally was a wise decision a euro. A euro e haha, I was merely lucky a euro Xiao Yan laughed and stood up. A euro l at a euro trademark s go. I a euro trademark am still intending to create trouble for the wolf head mercenary company a euro. A euro e haha. Count me in. They are a factor in my current predicament. Now that I a euro trademark am leaving. It is only natural that I give them something to remember me a euro the fairy doctor said with a smile as she stood up in a pretty manner. A euro e naturally, I had this intention when I came to look for you a euro Xiao Yan smiled. With the fairy doctor a euro trademark s mastery in poison, even he was a little afraid of her. If he had her help, getting rid of the wolf head mercenary company would not be difficult. Just as the fairy doctor was packing up. A knocking sound came from the entrance. A middle-aged mana euro trademark s voice vibrated into the room, a euro e ha ha. Fairy doctor, are you in, a euro? Although the words conveyed an inquiry, the door was opened as the words died off. The middle-aged mana euro trademark s eyes swept across the room. His face changed slightly when he saw the young man standing in the middle of the room. Frowning, he waved his hands calling in the four guards behind him. They took out their weapons and faced the two people in the room. A Euro E Fairy Doctor, may I know who this is, A Euro the gaze of the middle-aged man turned toward the fairy doctor who was busily packing her things as he gave an insincere smile. A Euro E Xiao Yan A Euro Xiao Yan said after glancing at the fairy doctor. A Euro E Xiao Yan? We're in a Euro trademark T you chased into the inner regions of the Magic Beast Mountain range, a Euro hearing the reply, the middle-aged mana Euro trademark S face became blank. Instantly happiness flashed across his eyes as he said politely, a Euro a he he. I didn't a Euro trademark T think that brother Xiao Yan was so strong. I admire you for escaping the inner regions of the mountain range also known as the death zone a Euro. A euro e I was merely lucky a euro Xiao Yan carelessly raised his eyes and laughed, a euro e I will be leaving with the fairy doctor. Can you move aside, a euro? The middle-aged mana euro trademark s face twitched slightly as he smiled. A euro or it is fate that allowed us to meet. Since you have come to our thousand medicinal house, 
you ought to stay a little longer. What I like most is to make friends with someone like you a euro as he spoke, the middle-aged man stepped back and blocked the entrance with the guards. He had already heard that Xiao Yan possessed a treasure from the cave. Now that Xiao Yan had come here, the middle-aged man was not going to allow him to leave so easily. A euro a Mr. Yao, please look at your right palm. Does it appear slightly green, a euro after wrapping up her things into a bag? The fairy doctor placed it on her back and suddenly raised her head to speak. Hearing the fairy doctor a euro trademark s words, the face of the middle-aged man changed. He hurriedly opened his palm and found that the center of his palm appeared green. Immediately, he demanded, "A euro, I you a euro, you poisoned me, a euro, a euro, ha ha! This is only a means to protect myself, a euro." The fairy doctor shook her head as she said softly, "A euro, a Mr. Yao." I am sure you are well aware of the potency of the medicine that I make. If I do not give you the method to create an antidote, you will at most have a month before the poison takes effect. When that happens, you will be paralyzed if you are lucky or die if you arena euro trademark ta euro. The soft and gentle voice echoed throughout the room. Despite being a bright and sunny day, Mr. Yao felt like he was in an ice chamber. After being so careful, he had still fell into the fairy doctor a euro trademark s trap. Mr. Yao weighed his life and his greed for a long time before he unwillingly barked, a euro a hand over the antidote formula and I will let you leave a euro. A euro a having stayed in the thousand medicinal house for so long, Mr. Yao shoot a euro trademark t expect me to trust you to keep your promise. Let us leave and I will hand the formula over to you a euro the fairy doctor said in a relaxed manner. Xiao Yan a euro trademark s hands were behind his neck as he stood by the side watching the owner of the thousand medicinal house being toyed with by the fairy doctor. He could not help but feel like laughing. However, on top of the situation being funny, Xiao Yan a euro trademark s felt a little more afraid. If this woman was given the opportunity, her future accomplishments would not be low. A euro I you a euro a euro Mr. Yao euro trademark s face turned blue with anger when faced with the fairy doctor a euro trademark s leisure looking face. He walked in a circle before violently waving his hand, ordering the guards to retreat from the room. A euro L at a euro trademark s go a euro seeing Mr. Yao falling back, the fairy doctor turned her head towards Xiao Yan and smiled. Xiao Yan raised his thumb and took the lead out of the door. The fairy doctor followed closely behind him. With a gloomy expression, Mr. Yao along with the guards followed them out of the room. He could not find it in himself to be happy, the chance for riches was flying out of his hands. When they arrived at a spacious area, the fairy doctor took out a bamboo whistle and blew gently. A moment later, a huge blue eagle appeared in the sky and swiftly flew over. It hovered over the manor and slowly descended. Eyeing the descending blue eagle, Xiao Yan grabbed the fairy doctor a euro trademark s waist and stepped off the ground, releasing an explosive sound. His body shot into the air and lightly landed on the back of the eagle. Standing on the eagle euro trademark s back, the fairy doctor carelessly threw a formula down before controlling the eagle and riding it away under Mr. Yao euro trademark s furious eyes.